What, no, what are we reciting here? We're reciting the page 20 and 21 out of the catechism, the small catechism, which is the sacrament of the altar. Oh, okay, good. So it's the, what this means. Good. Someone must forget it. What is the sacrament of the altar? It is the true body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, under the bread and wine for us Christians to eat and to drink, instituted by Christ himself. Where is this written? The holy evangelists Matthew, Mark, Luke, and St. Paul write thus, Our Lord Jesus Christ, the same night in which he is betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it, and gave it to his disciples and said, Take but this is my body which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took the cup. When he had supped, and when he had given thanks, he break, drink, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, drink ye all of it, or drink ye all of it, for this cup is the New Testament in my blood, which is shed for you for the remission of sins. This do ye as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. What is the benefit of such eating and drinking? That is shown us by these words, given and shed for you for the remission of sins, namely that in the sacrament forgiveness of sins, life and salvation are given us through these words. For where there is forgiveness of sins, there is also life and salvation. How can bodily eating and drinking do such great things? It is not the eating and drinking of deed that does them. The words here written, given and shed for you for the remission of sins, Namely, that in the sacrament of the earth, which words are beside the bodily eating and drinking, as the chief thing of the sacrament, for where there is forgiveness of sins, right. For which he that words beside the, the bodily eating, eating and drinking, drinking as the, are the, chief, chief, thing are the, the chief thing in the sacrament. For he that believes these words has what they say and express, namely the forgiveness of sins. Who then receives such sacrament for the Lord? Fasting and bodily preparation are indeed a fine act of training. These truly worthy and well prepared who has faith in these words, given and shed for you for the remission of sins. Um, but, he that belongs, but he that does not believe these words or doubts is unworthy and unprepared for the words for you require all hearts to believe. Amen.